Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be reviewing a packet of crisps sent to me by Simon via the P.O. Box, the address I'll put in the um, top comments. If uh, He sent me a packet of crisps for me to review and it's from Seabrook Loaded Jalapeno, I'm not sure that's the right pronunciation of that, uh, nacho, cheese, nacho cheese and jalapeno curly fries. There we go. Exploding with flavour. Apparently it says it reads on the back. So, without further ado, yeah, I've rented out a P.O. box, so anybody wanting to send items for me to review, by all means, send them to the P.O. box. You've got about another month and a half. Hmm. Yeah, like I say, these are sent by Simon. And there'll be a, a dime bar coming video coming shortly. Hmm. Now, as for the flavour, or the smell rather, it does smell not really of cheese, not really of peppers, not really much, you know, yeah. not really a good, <laughs> kind of like a stale sort of, a, but like a lot of foods, it's, it tastes better than it smells. Now, yeah, not a lot going on with the cheese smell. Sometimes it's a bit stronger with certain crisps. There you go, some curliness going on here. Let's give it a try. Oh. The crunchy, it, it's a... Uh, you can buy... There are crisps. I think they're called Twizzlers. Twiz, Twizzles... They're like a corkscrew. It's the same sort of thing as that. I can't remember exactly what the... Uh, the name of the crisps were. Hmm. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of firm crisps. There's a good crunch to them. Hmm. I'm not getting a lot of the cheese, and I'm not getting a lot. Nacho cheese and jalapeno curly fries. Well, one out of the three, yeah, curly fries. I'm not getting much of the nacho cheese or the peppers. And believe me, I'm not a big, I'm not what I was sort of like, a bit nervous, you know, when I saw the jalapeno in there, I thought, all right, you know, my throat's gonna start burning because I don't take pepper you know, uh, very well. But these are not that strong. I'm getting a... As I'm going through them, I'm getting the, the slight cheese flavour coming through. But that's about it. But not entirely bad. A nice snack. It's just not very big on flavour, that's all. It's a bit of a shame because it's got potential. Hmm. But yeah, interesting interesting curliness. They're called curly fries. But uh yeah, quite nice. Different uh you know, it's a different shape than the usual crisps. Yeah. Not overexcited with the flavour, but um, but not too bad as a snack, you know? If you just let you know, watching a movie or something. Yeah, a bit of a shame, because if they'd have gone a little bit stronger with the, uh, with the cheese flavour, these would be very, very good. Anyway. Yeah. All in all, there are other flavours that are a lot more flavour flavourful, I think is the word. Yeah, this isn't oh, this isn't in the top ten of uh flavour flavour filled snacks. But they're not bad, you know? If you just want to sit there and start munching on stuff. Oh well. 
I'll leave it there. There you go. Nacho cheese and jalapeno. I think it's called jalapeno. I think that's what it is with a H. Although it's spelled with a, with a J there. Curly fries. If that was useful, let me know. Stick around soon. I'll be doing another gift from Simon via the PO box. It's a dime bar. It's a latte flavoured dime bar. Stick around for that. Meantime, thank you very much to Simon for sending me this. And uh, while... Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.